Hey there, uh, Captain M here with John Armbruster, a fantasy artist. His website is johnarmbrusterart.com. And so, John, how long have you been creating fantasy art? Uh, probably about 10 years. 10 years? Mm -hmm. uh, when, how did you first get started? In art school. Uh, I guess I was interested in even before I started art school, but uh, once I got involved in and really started delving into my art, I went to the Academy of Art College in San Francisco, and uh, it just sort of exploded from there. Uh, who are some of your artistic influences? Uh, Frank Rosetta, uh, Jeffrey Jones, uh, Jeff Easley, uh, Alex Horley. Uh, there's a bunch of fantasy guys that are out there, especially today. I mean, there's so many great artists out there. So. Um, what are the kinds of medium you prefer to work in? I generally will work with, with acrylics, a little bit of watercolor, some color pencil, but uh, predominantly uh, acrylic. Um, how do you think fantasy artwork is influencing modern culture these days? Oh God, with the movies, with the movie industry, especially once Lord of the Rings came out, it just, I think it exploded. Opened people's minds up a little more. Um, and then with all the comic book movies that are coming out, uh, my wife, uh, not a big sci-fi or fantasy comic book, you know, uh, fan necessarily, but then um, she saw uh, Spider-Man, and she got it. She's like, I get it. It's like it's 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 real life. It's just got a twist on it. And I think you know people miss out on on good stories because they're afraid of it just being fantasy or too much imagination, but the storylines are all very similar to what you would see in any drama or <laughs> um, comedy. Yeah. Um, so, do you create commissioned artwork? Yes, I do. Uh, tell us a bit about some of the commissions that you have done. I've uh, done a lot of small press uh, game stuff. Um, I do just recently finished up with a book cover. Um, done, a lot, done a lot of interior works. Um, done some comic book work, uh, uh, so it's just really whatever comes in. You know, you jump on and you just run. I love taking people's ideas and, and sort of bringing them to life. Uh, what are your plans for Epcot? Well, um, I've never sold a great deal in El Paso. Uh, I generally go outside of El Paso. I do a lot of shows, you know, uh, Comic Con j just recently. Didn't get a chance this year to go. Uh, I generally do uh, Gen Con and um, some other game and uh, comic book conventions. But I'd like to do something more local. And um, when Broken Tree came up with that con, I was all on that. I was like, yes, I definitely want to do that. Because uh, I know there's a, you know, with, especially with the military, there's a huge influence our influx of people that are interested in these things and so you know it's all about promotion and getting your stuff out there and if I can sell some things local instead of having to travel to do it even better. And do you think there's a difference in the kind of uh, fantasy artwork uh, people here in El Paso are looking for as opposed to anywhere else? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think uh, what I've seen, especially with the, with the local guys and, and the comic book scene, um, a lot of people are really into uh, uh, the small press uh, comic book companies uh, because of the stories they're writing. They've, they've got really good stories. Uh, the artwork, good, it's coming up, getting even better. And a lot of these guys are starting to compete against uh, some of the big name companies. Um, and a lot of people are sort of getting tired of a lot of the big name guys. You know, Spider-Man's been around forever and Batman and Superman. And, and so I think people wanting to connect with something uh, a little newer, a little more different. How, how do you think an event like Epcon is important to the kind of work that you do? Well, again, it's, it's about promotion. Um, you know, you talk to any artist, the way you make a name for yourself is by getting your stuff out there. Promotion. Put it out anywhere and everywhere. Tell everybody. You know, constantly. You know, this is what I do. Okay. Are you looking forward to the convention? Oh, yeah. Well, well, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Uh, be sure to check out John Armbruster's artwork at johnarmbrusterart.com.
and be sure to check out his booth at Epcot. Until then, we'll see you later.